contract killer makes tearful confession to the murder of Beach Stout's wife. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! A contract killer has detailed how he lured Tonya MacDonald, wife of popular Portland businessman Everton Beach Stout MacDonald, to a secluded roadway in the parish and watch as the man he subcontracted stabbed her repeatedly. The details were outlined in the Home Circuit Court on Monday after 56 year old Denver Lynn Minot pleaded guilty to murder for his role in the July 20th killing. Minot was sentenced to 19 years in prison on Thursday, the 17th of September and ordered to serve 10 years before he becomes eligible for parole. Justice Vivian Harris who imposed a sentence called the killing horrifying. Minot's confessions were contained in a caution statement he made to detectives assigned to the Major Investigation Division. Two weeks after the partially burnt body of the 32-year-old businesswoman were found with its throat slashed inside her car in the Sherwood Forest area of Portland. He made a confession in the presence of two justices of the peace. 65-year-old Everton MacDonald, also known as B.G. Stout or Mr. Mac, and another man, Asha Barnes, has been arrested and charged with a gruesome slaying. Minot in his caution statement, which was cited in court by prosecutors, claimed he was contracted by Everton MacDonald to kill his wife, Tonya MacDonald, also known as Sassy. He said that arrangement was that payment of $3 million would be made for the killing of Tonya, one prosecutor disclosed, citing the caution statement. Minot, a fisherman who also resides in Portland, claimed too that Beach Stout gave him clear instructions on how his wife should be killed. He did not want Tonya to be shot, but that she was to be stabbed up and her body burnt, he told detectives according to prosecutors. Minot admitted that he gave the work to another man known to him only as the youth. He revealed that on the night of July 20, Tonya MacDonald picked him up in her Toyota Axio motor car and he indicated to her that he was going to pick up another man in Port Antonio. The trio traveled toward Sherwood Forest, he said. When the youth asked Tonya MacDonald to stop and turn around the car as they approached a three-way intersection, Minot recalled stepping out of the vehicle after Tonya MacDonald complied with the request, causing her to become fearful. Where you are go, I'm afraid. You know, sister around here dark, he quoted her as saying. According to Minot, the other man also got out of the car before quickly getting back in. He said the youth grabbed Tony around the headrest of the driver's seat and they were wrestling. He said he then saw when the youth stabbed her and he saw blood coming from her two sides, her back and her neck, a prosecutor revealed in court. Minot said the man had a bottle containing some unknown liquid. Minot said soon after, the car caught fire and he left the scene to call Everton MacDonald and told him what had happened. The Sunson police reported that while the scene was being processed, Everton MacDonald arrived and identified his wife's body as well as her motor car. Minot apparently racked with guilt, broke down in tears as he recounted to detectives his role in Tonya MacDonald's death. Miss Mark trusts me too much. She believes in me. And me make she go up there, he said through tears in his caution statement. Everton Beach Stout MacDonald and Barnes are scheduled to return to court on Friday the 18th of September. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!